We're gonna go over a uh, glute activation technique. We're gonna use this to apply it to our squatting and our deadlift thing. So to do this, you'll need either something like this. I've got a long band that I'm going to double up so I can reduce the size of it. Or if you've got either like a hip circle or a booty band or something that's a little bit on the smaller side, uh, that'll work as well. So I'm demonstrating with a, a long uh, mini band here, so all I want to do is just get this thing to something about this length. So what we're going to do is we're going to sit up on the end of a bench. We're going to look at putting your feet into something that would resemble like a wider stance squat or a wider stance deadlift. So something outside of your hips. Toes are going to be externally rotated at something in like a 20 to 30 degrees. I don't want to get carried away with the amount of rotation that I do on my feet here. This needs to duplicate what I would apply with my squat or my deadlift. And we don't want to get something so excessive that it becomes like a ballet style, like a plie position. So we're going to seat on the end of the bench. The band is going to come up and around the legs. Now I'm going to put this below my knees just because this style of band, if I put it above my knees, as I push my knees open, it may start to roll up the legs. But if you're using something that's uh, like a thicker piece of fabric, like hip circle or booty band, you can put it above the knees because it'll stay there a little bit more uh, snugly. So again, I'm gonna position my feet in that wider, stance as though, again, if I were squatting or deadlifting, again, I want this now to sit below my knees. I'm putting my feet in that spot. And I also want to set my upper body up to basically emulate what's the bottom of that deadlift position or that squat position going to look like. So I'm flexed a little bit forward at the hip. Everything else about this should try to duplicate that position as much as we can. We're maintaining a flat back position. We've got a little bit of a forward shift, assuming that there's either a bar in our hands or on our back. So we're not sitting perfectly upright like this. We're not rounding our low back. Well, again, our goal is to kind of duplicate both the knee position and the hip position. So I'm forward at maybe 20, 30 degrees. My feet are completely flat on the ground. So I want to think big toe, little toe and heel all maintaining contact with the ground before I've even set the drill up. What I'm going to do once I'm in this position is I'm simply going to drive my knees out to create basically a vertical shin. So it puts my knees directly over top of my heels. I'm shifting forward. So again, I'm maintaining that bottom position for my squat and my deadlift. And I'm gonna hold this ideally for something in like a 30 to 40 second range. Now you can also split this up and do three bouts of 20 or five bouts of 10 or whatever you need. But the intention is just to light up the glute medius um, in that bottom position so that what you can use that to power up out of the bottom position of your squat or of your deadlift instead of doing things like compensating with your low back. So again, if we want to teach our body to do that right, we've got to put ourselves in the same position so we're practicing how we're going to play. And we want to watch our feet. Okay, so when I push my knees open, I don't want to start rolling my feet. So I don't want to see the toes or the arch of the foot break off the ground because you're going to start teaching your body to do that when the time comes. So I want to again, set everything up, tall chest, flat spine, shift forward at my hips. I drive my knees open, keep contact between big toe, little toe and heel. It's going to stay here in this static position and I can feel a lot of lactic acid begin to, to build up on the, the glute medius on the outside of my hips. I'm going to hold this and let's bring my knees and I'm done. So add that in either at the start of your workout, you can incorporate that between sets if you're struggling to use your glutes and you find you're overcompensating with your low back. Understand that if you're not used to this, it may pre-exhaust the glutes that may require you to take a little bit of a step back on the amount of weight that you're using initially. And then as you're using this less and less, and as you get more accustomed to it, you can bring the weights back up to where they would have been before. So give it a shot and see how it goes.